Hello and welcome back to Cabin Organic. In today's video we're going to show you how we took a sad and neglected structure and turned it into a beautiful and very productive greenhouse. Here's a before shot of the greenhouse. As you can see it is quite dirty, very neglected. Uh, many of the panes of glass were broken and in need of replacement. There was a wasp's nest living inside of that red birdhouse there, and we had a large colony of bats living in the door. The inside of the greenhouse also needed a lot of attention. It had to be cleared of some left behind junk and needed a complete scrubbing from top to bottom. Here's a few more shots taken in the winter time before I was able to start the project. At last spring came and I was able to scrub the greenhouse inside and out from top to bottom and then I spent some time taping up the windows in preparation for painting. Then I put on two thick coats of primer. Some areas got even a few more coats as well. Then I caulked all the windows with black caulking and started painting the greenhouse black and what a difference it made. Here's a few shots of the interior and again what a difference it makes just painting everything black. I had a lot of fun arranging all of my gardening supplies in there as well. Here's some of my terracotta pots. And another view of the outside. As you can see, the peonies that I transplanted from the old herb and tea garden are starting to flower. But you can see there's still one thing missing. That's right, it was time to change the door. That old hollow door that housed that colony of bats was finally on its way out. Brian got this glass door from his sister Carlene and he cut it down to size and installed it in the greenhouse. And then I primed it and painted it black. And here's a shot of the finished project complete with new glass door. On the back of the greenhouse I planted three rhubarb plants and that supplies us with rhubarb for crumbles and jams and pies. And on the back wall of the greenhouse I now have a place to hang all of the rusty old tools that I keep finding on this property. I've got old pitchforks and blades, a couple of axes, and even just this summer I found a few wrenches. That first year I planted tomatoes in the greenhouse and they did really well. They grew very big and I trellised them with a baling twine that I hung from nails in the rafters above. At the end of the season I'll often have kale and Swiss chard growing in the greenhouse as well, just to lengthen the growing season. And by fall, you'll see I'm moving some pots into the greenhouse as well. Here's a few more shots of those beautiful peony shrubs that are getting more mature now. This is probably the third year that since I had transplanted them, they're starting to get much more bushy and a lot more flower heads on them. And we also have a bleeding heart right on the far right corner. And just a few more shots of the final project. We're really happy with how it turned out. This sad, neglected greenhouse has now become a really pretty and fun place for us to hang out. We love coming in here and doing some potting, especially when it's raining. And I love visiting it every day to check on the plants inside. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more projects and videos by Cabin Organic.